Guys, it's finally here. The end is nigh. The end of anything that I'm doing. It's here. We're done. We're done, I'm telling you. We're done. AI. AI will take over, man. It's it's basically going to uh, put my Skybox operation out of business. You know? Skybox is generating Blender. It's a, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a thing of the past. What matters now is that we use AI to create skyboxes uh, with just a flip of a button, type in a bit of, a bit of text, and there you have it. So uh, that's why I want to show you, um, uh, what's this called now? Uh, block Ads Labs. Block ad, blockade, blockade Labs. Blockade Labs. Uh, skybox generated from Blockade Labs. Now, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm just literally, I'm uh, just curious to see what this is all about. So let's have a look. So uh, this website, um, you know, uh, it generates a skybox uh, using AI. So imagine and fine tune any 360 world. Uh, let's have a look at this website. So basically, you, you can create new um, skyboxes from scratch. You can remix other ones that you've done, altering its basic geometry, and add this to uh, add this in in development. It will let you draw in new elements in place uh, into place in your scene. So we could get started right away. So basically, this is something that's like on the website already generated just as a sort of an example. And what you'll notice is that these, uh, you know, whoever's made this website, they, I don't know if there was a limitation to what they were doing, but I just don't understand why there would be any sort of stretching here and then also here at the top. So that's a bit weird how that's sort of caused. I like what they've done. Like, it's nice. I can understand... Um, you know how this sort of wraps around the scene. I just don't understand why they couldn't just fix the top and the bottom since for example My skyboxes don't have this issue. But anyway, you know, let's not uh, dwell on that This is still using AI and it's probably still uh, learning things But basically you want to you know, we can create a new one. So when we say create new Basically, this is allowing me to sort of select some styles. So let's say for example I want to do it in a CG films uh, type of style and then it on this left side so this is this is where i can type in what i want to generate and then obviously we can download and stuff like that but then you also have this thing here on the left side where you can pan around so that's what i'm doing right now uh we've got a pen and a and a, and a eraser and a brush size and obviously this is going to be quite useful if you have like a tablet uh because obviously this will allow you to do uh, some you know good drawing so um actually what have i got here let me just get my tablet out i've got a high on oh sorry i just pressed the button there so i've got a high on tablet that i can use so i'm just gonna put that over here uh right where's my pen i always miss my pen there we go got my pen over here as well um right so let's have a look um in when when i'm in here you know and i select the pen like that i can now sort of start drawing i can press ctrl z to delete what i've done previously but let's say i want to have like uh oh man that's a bit bad i want to have like a door over here uh maybe with something like that and then like a window over in here now i can press space to move change into pan mode and then i can go back to my drawer and then i don't know i'm just gonna add something like that in here uh like that maybe it will understand what i'm trying to sort of do i i don't even know what i'm trying to do but let's just do uh, you know something like that and now um i can i can sort of look upwards as well because it's showing me the cylinder i could try and fit based on that so can i just draw some lines here maybe some something like that i don't know anyway let's just let's just leave it like that for now with what we've painted this is obviously very basic um and now i am going to press the well i'm gonna i'm gonna have a look here so, so you see you can change the grid if you want to have like a different grid different guide you can also have like an image in the background you can also have like a uh, like a floor if you want to draw on that as well uh, which is quite interesting i guess this is why it's got it's still got like limitations with the top and bottom of where the um, uh, sort of the uh, spherical shape ends uh, once we do that now we can go in here and dream up the world so i'm going to type something in here um let's just see what we can type i'm thinking maybe um alien uh landscape with thundering uh, mountains 
seen from inside a ship with big windows and and a sci-fi sci-fi sci door um sci-fi door with a big grate above right something like that i don't know obviously i'm just testing this thing out but now i can just press generate over here um and this will then have a think and it will spew out an output and i don't know i mean this really depends sometimes it's very quick sometimes it takes a while generally this bar is not indicative of how quickly uh, it will get the process done uh because it always slows down here at the end but then after a couple of, I would say probably about a minute, you get an output and there we go. Right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So interestingly enough, it didn't, uh, it didn't really follow anything that I've done in terms of the brush. I'll be quite honest, but let's see. Did it add a window here? Yeah, it did, but I'm not sure. I think if you, for example, delete all of that, the prompt. And you just press generate, just say a uh, spaceship on an alien planet. Maybe try with that. Um, and then let's just have a look first at what it's generated here. So we still have the seam at the top and the bottom, but it's not that visible. And it could probably be painted out if you when you export this. I think it exports at about 8K. So what we're seeing is we've got a window there with obviously an alien landscape. So we did follow that. Got a planet in the distance, and then it's got these elements around. Now, this is very basic, and it's quite good if you want to use this in a scene, like a Blender or Unreal Engine scene. Um, it's not very CG film. It still looks very cartoony. But if we click generate again with this new prompt, which is spaceship on an alien planet, hopefully we'll follow that a bit more. But I think as long as you type things in here, it will ignore the more and more of this sort of stuff that you've outlined. Or maybe you just need to add a lot more detail to this until it, you get something right. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. So let's just see what it generates now. So as you can see, it's, it's done it. Uh, let me just deactivate the camera. So... Um, yeah, let me have a look. Okay, see now, see now. So I've added less text, right? So it put the door where I wanted. It did create an element around the door, but then it sort of it sort of used the guides to add some elements in there. Uh, but it just interpreted a lot, right? It's interesting. Still, still very much interesting for concepting and stuff like that. So I do like it. I do have obviously a lot of empty areas in here. Now the skybox um, center there is very visible as it distorts this, the hell out of this planet, um, as you can see over there. So that's not very good. And then the bottom here, mm, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's an interesting tool. Definitely going to give it another go and some more... You know, I'm definitely going to be, you can do an auto pan skybox as well, by the way, but I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more experimentation with it just to see what we can get out of it. Um, I like it, but it's just not, you know, it's still a lot of work to be done, I believe, onto this. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe. Please let me know if you have any other ideas or any other websites where I can try, uh, you know, skyboxes, well, AI is, AI is out there to get all of our jobs. So I am willing to embrace our AI overlord and make sure that I'm on his good side so he doesn't take away my living. Hopefully he'll make me part of the, you know, the AI overlord, maybe part of the process get me integrated in there. Maybe I'll become another bot. Who knows? But at the end of the day, you know, th these are interesting times that we live in and we either try and, um, you know, grow with um, how the world is changing or we will perish. That's pretty much it, right? The technology is always going to advance and we've got to keep the, you know, we've got to keep our pace with it. Um, and you guys would be surprised how many things out there in the world right now are using machine learning and AI and things like that. You know, things like Photoshop that we take for granted um, has been using machine learning for years. Uh, but anyway, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.